Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Although there is limited information, today I attempt to answer the question how strong was Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner? Scott Rich Steiner was born in Bay City, Michigan on the 29th of July 1962. Following high school he attended the University of Michigan on a wrestling scholarship, where he went on to become a three-time Big Ten runner-up after finishing fifth as a freshman. As a senior, he became an NCAA Division I All-American and placed sixth in the nation. After graduating from university with a degree in education, Scott was trained by Dr. Jerry Graham Jr. and debuted under his real name for the Indianapolis-based World Wrestling Association in August 1986. During his pro wrestling career, Scott was built to stand 6 foot 1 inches tall and weigh 125 kilograms or 275 pounds. Information on Scott's strength is scarce to say the least, but we start by looking at Scott's workout video called Freak Show that was released in 2009, at which time he was 48 years old. Scott starts the video with the bench press, and following a single warm-up set of 225 pounds, he jumps straight into a working set of 225 kilograms or 495 pounds for five repetitions. And although he demonstrates good control throughout, notice that he uses no leg drive which will become relevant later in the video. Throughout the video, Scott performs numerous exercises with what appears to be some very impressive poundages. However, I'm not going to cover these in detail because I'm dubious about the legitimacy of the weights being used. The reason I'm dubious isn't just due to the appearance of the weights and exercises, but the fact that a 225kg or 495 pounds bench press for 5 repetitions would provide a theoretical 1 rep max in a region of 259kg. At that period of time, such a weight in the Masters class of the 125kg weight division would be the heaviest of all time by quite some margin. And when we take into account that Scott used zero leg drive, it makes such a lift that that period seem almost implausible. There are several accounts of Scott's strength during his prime starting with his bench press, for which during his stint at the WCW he claimed to press 600 pounds, but most critics suggest that this figure was inflated for Keyfab and the real figure was probably closer to 238 kilograms or 525 pounds. However, in 2003, at 41 years old, Scott was witnessed doing a bench press of 247 kilograms or 545 pounds like it was nothing, which certainly adds credibility to Scott's claims of pressing 600 pounds during his prime. And if that were the case, according to strengthlevel.com, he would rank in the top 0.3% of its registered users. The next lift is a seated overhead press. And it was during an interview with Macho Mecca that Lex Luger stated that he saw Scott press 166 kilograms or 365 pounds for 8 to 10 reps, which places Scott at an elite level in the top 0.3% of strength level users. The penultimate lift is a lateral raise, for which during an interview with Macho Mecca, Buff Bagwell said the following. Do 100 pound dumbbells, laterals, with the most perfect form that you can get. According to strengthlevel.com, a 45 kilogram or 100 pound lateral raise places Scott in the top 0.7% of its registered users. The final lift of the video is the preacher curl that was witnessed while Scott was training at Gold's Gym in Seattle around 2003 and is reported to have been two plates per side on the knees head bar which would equate to approximately 93 kilograms or 204 pounds. A preacher curl of this weight for an estimated 8 to 10 repetitions places Scott at an elite level in the top 4% of strength levels registered users. Scott Steiner was always known for having one of the best physiques in professional wrestling and it would now appear that he was also among the strongest of all time as well, which makes the following claim all the more laughable. What are your views on steroids? Steroids have been around since, you know, what, 40s? Have you personally ever taken them? No. It would be great to hear your thoughts on this subject, so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Scott's strength and his claim natural status. I've left credits along with my social media links in the description below, so please check those out and give me a follow. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please help to support the algorithm by smashing like, sharing the video, 
and if you haven't done so already by subscribing. Thank you.